What up fish people? Kenny E with Anakin Aquatics. Well, I wanted to show you guys how fish react to some live food. I just dumped a bunch of uh, daffia in here. And as you can see, they're rather enjoying it. This is our 110 gallon rainbow carry tetra and a bunch of different types of quarries. And I've got some uh, banded barbs in here. But as you can see, they love their daffia. They are enjoying it. I started a culture about a month ago and I had to start feeding it tonight because if I didn't, I was afraid they were gonna crash. Look at how fat that one's belly is. <laughs> Apparently he likes Daphne a little too much. Good, good stuff. Helps their little predator instincts, make them feel important. As you can see, they're enjoying this. Even little betas getting in on some of the action. Got his little hunting feelers on. See how he's looking around? Then I'm also gonna supplement with a little uh, flake when I'm done here. But they're all very, very happy. I'm a little concerned about my Corey's not getting enough to eat here, so that's why I'm gonna put some supplemental stuff in as well. Don't want the little guys to not get enough to eat. But I was feeding some live foods tonight, so I figured I'd give you a little footage of me feeding this here tank some live daphnia. And I think there's a little bit of scuds mixed in with them, but if you want to see your tank come alive, put some live food in there. And daphnia are so easy to keep. Basically, you can either put yeast or sporidum power in with them, and they do great. I started this culture about a month ago, and I kid you not, I probably have 10,000 plus in there now, in less than a month. If you keep nano fish, there is nothing better for them. They love that food. Anyway, guys, just want to give you a quick little update of that. Doing some live food feeding. Sorry about the sunlight, but that tells you why these rainbows love it. They do get some natural sunlight right at the end of the night here. And they dig it. And it's just that side of the tank that gets it. So it doesn't create a huge algae problem. And this, this is the first time you've ever seen Danican Aquatics. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. I do live stream uh, once a week. For Danikin, and then I also do a series that's called the Booty Boys, and I do that with my friends Chattanooga Ed and Fish Room Fever. That's every Friday night, but we alternate our channels for that one. And then I do do a month or a weekly uh, members only live stream as well. But if you like fish tanks, I'm your channel. We have a total of almost 80 of them, and I haven't been doing as much of late because of my injury, but. I will start getting more and more into it. The main problem was I was developing a shake because I'm not used to holding this camera with my left hand. And as you can see, I've been practicing guys and now I'm actually a little more stable. But to give you guys an idea, if this is your first time, we have Bosmani rainbows in this tank. These are the type when they full grown will have the more orange to the tail than the yellow. And then we have Kiri blue tetras in here. That's these guys right here. And then underneath there, if you look, those are banded barbs, African banded barbs. These guys get a crazy red color to them when they're in their mating colors. And they school up nice, give you a different pattern, a cool little thing. 
Then I've got two different types of Corys, and there's two of them right there, different types. I've got Corydoria abacasius, and then I've also got them high thin little guys. Super, super cool little Corydoras. So anyway, guys, just want to give you a live feeding video. Some daffia getting fed to these gents and ladies. Anyway, guys, as always, love your fish. This is Kenny E. Going to check out for now. Hope you all are having a great day. And as always, love your fish. Have a great night, guys.